Good morning, friends. The letter of the Apostle Paul to the Philippians was written during a time in Paul's life when he was in chains in prison. In fact, it comes probably near the end of a five-year time of incarceration, two years imprisonment in what is now uh, the west coast of Israel under Roman uh, uh, imprisonment and then a wild ride across the Mediterranean where he's shipwrecked uh, and on the island of Malta. And ult ultimately he arrives as a prisoner in Rome five years of his life, two, the last two years in a prison in Rome, waiting for a hearing before uh, Nero Caesar. I'm sure there had to be times when his feelings were that, um, uh, why has God allowed this to happen in my life? And, um, and what is really going on? You know, sometimes our feelings uh, differ from the real facts of the situation. Uh, I was in uh, Western Turkey several years ago, and I uh, was fascinated with the tour that I was on. And um, and uh, one morning we were uh, we were in a stretch of territory that uh, if you've seen one landscape, you've seen them all. And so I was, uh, uh, after looking at the landscape for a long period of time, decided just to uh, read a newspaper that was there. And I took the newspaper and uh, and to read some of the fine print, I took off my glasses. And um, later, when I put the newspaper aside and looked out the bus window, I noticed that my vision was blurred. And I thought, uh, well, it must be jet lag or something. I closed my eyes for a few moments and opened them again. And again, my vision was blurred. I became somewhat concerned, and I closed my eyes for a few more minutes, opened them again, and it was still blurred. I thought, I wonder which eye it is. So I closed one eye and then the other finally discerned it was my right eye, and I thought to myself, I must be having a stroke in my right eye. Of course, I didn't know that medically it was possible whether that was a reality or not, but I convinced myself I was having a stroke in my right eye. Several hours later, we arrived at our rest stop where we're going to have a, a lunch, and I, was, I stumbled out of the bus and into the food line and went into a corner table and sat down by myself. I was so depressed because I thought, there's something wrong with my eye. And then the couple who had been sitting across from me on the bus uh, walked in and and uh, Debbie uh, said to me, she said, uh, George, she said, by any chance, did you, uh, is this yours? And she handed me the lens to the right side of my glass frame. Somehow in taking off my glasses uh, and reading the newspaper, the lens had dropped out of my eye. All along, I thought I was having a stroke in my right eye when the real facts of the situation was that my lens was lying on the floor of the bus. Sometimes our feelings conflict with reality and we must be careful to not let our feelings dominate the scene. Paul knew that what had happened to him had really served to advance the gospel and God was working powerfully in his life. Sometimes you may feel that God is not aware of you. Sometimes you may feel that God has abandoned you. And sometimes you may feel depressed. But that doesn't tell the real story. The real story is that God is on our side. The real story is that he will never leave us or forsake us. The real story today is that God loves you whether your feelings feel it or not, he really does. And that is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ.